Second chance. That's my nigga. Um, I think everybody in the game was scared of him. All all of that country rap shit was really, really scared of that brother, man. He had it. They, him and him and Ryan had the same manager. And um man, I just saw a different approach for Ryan than approach for second chance. I remember a couple of times we was at shows and he was supposed to go after uh Adam was supposed to go after second chance and he made this big old fucking stink about it and still didn't go on um after him. But uh he just really good man, uh very talented, should have blew up bigger, but nobody really wanted to accept him because of his skin color in my opinion. Lil Nas X. It's very trendy. I think country rap wouldn't accept him because he was too many, he had too many exes, <laughs> like his name. He had, um, he was black and gay. And uh, one time we were supposed to have a show with him. And um, I think it was Adam and Katie was on the show. And he didn't want to do it because of Adam. And after that, man, he canceled all his shows just because of the blowback he would have got from um, doing a show with a person like Calhoun. Yellow Wolf. Yellow Wolf, he the man. He really don't fit in with the country rap guys to me. Savannah Dexter. Man, it was horrible. I think Katie could have beat her if she would have if um she would have let me and Guy help her more. Um at, at that point, I don't think Guy was really interested in doing the production at that point, man. It was to the point that he was even looking at me funny, man. He was Came at me one time and was like, hey, when is this going to stop? <laughs> and and I understood exactly what he said. And, and I mean, I, I felt bad because I knew he was right. And I had to kind of lean on Katie's side because that's that, that was where the money was. You know, glad I didn't let her riff up the uh, relationships I had with my team. Bravo Gator. Coward, man. Just like Adam. He's even more of an opportunist. Like, all that shit was so toughy, toughy until, you know, behind the DMs is where that gangster shit go on and they didn't want to play behind the DMs, you know, in the DMs is where I was doing my, my talking and my walking. None of them cats really wanted to play that game. You know, once it got real cigarette serious, like, you know, nigga shit. It just stalled, you know, all that shit kind of was like, hey, we ain't trying to do that, you know, but I wanted to smell them, you know, I wanted to smell a cologne. Let's not do the things on the Internet with all that that stuff. I'm not used to that with all that stuff. You know, I took what he did personal. I think he's blessed. Let's say that he's blessed. Justin Times. Another blessed one. Saw him in his eyes. Coward. Drake McGuire. Man, that's somebody you kind of feel sorry for. I think he's like an alcoholic, been used by everybody, promised things. And um, it, it serves him right that he got to be the director of the worst country rap song ever and probably one of the worst country rap videos ever. So it, it, it served him right to be a part of that bullshit. KD Noel's mom. You know... You don't want to say bad stuff about people, especially people who want to be good. I can't say everything about her is bad, but I can't. I wish I could say everything about her was good. I don't know. Out of respect, I probably just leave it like that. Command shift. Thieves. Another opportunist. They're actually getting sued right now for $10 million over um, tampering with artists. Hopefully, you know, I could tell you what we got going on against them. But those, but they, they have a history with tampering with artists. And, uh, you know, usually when people do dirty shit, it comes around to them. So we just taking our time and letting things build. But uh, I, I think they'll be getting a letter from us in pretty soon. Cult Ford. He started something 
that was cool. And Ryan took it to the next level. Like um, hip hop started in the in the East and West Coast made it better. I think hip start uh, hip hop started with Colt Ford and Ryan made it better. Best believe. Um, somebody that tried to get in the country rap world, but I think him being from Florida and being real, only thing that they thought was cool that he, that, that he liked Donald Trump. He wasn't against him, you know, so that's the only thing that was working with him is because he hated, well, he liked Trump and, and hated uh, Democrats. Donald Trump. The reason why I think Donald Trump got so much love in country rap because it personified them as a person. Like, we go back to the first question and you uh, asked me, did I ever feel racist towards uh, from the country rap people? And like I say, man, they didn't show it to you, but you knew it was there. <laughs> so that's the reason why I think they really, really embraced Trump because they naturally was racist, but they didn't really want to um, expose themselves or claim it, but they'll have everything. They might even say, hey, I hate niggas, but I love black people on the back of their shirt. So that's that's kind of what Trump kind of does. Like he it's, it's weird, man. They really their actions say stuff that's different from coming out of their mouth. Like they'll say, yeah, I'll, me and black people cool. But then you'll see a black person probably run them over with your a uh, big truck or something. So that's that's the reason why I think uh, that that group really, really like uh, Trump. 